This is Mohit from Software Maniac and today I'm going to show you the terms related with uh, YouTube analytics and how to understand the YouTube analytics and how it plays an important part in actually enhancing your Google AdSense revenue that you are generating from showing ads on your YouTube channel as well as your YouTube videos. So it is a request to watch this video till the end so that you can understand all of the terms related with uh, YouTube analytics such as estimated revenue, ad rates, uh, watch time, demographics and uh, other things as well. So let's get started. So this is how uh, this uh, video manager page looks like. I will go to analytics from the left corner. This is the overview page of the YouTube analytics section. Uh, by default, you are being shown the data of the last 28 days. You can see the watch time uh, in minutes for the last 28 days. It's uh, 5,350. The average view duration is one minute. And the views are 5,348. So watch time divided by the number of views gives you the average view duration in the, for the last 28 days. Now, and this is the YouTube uh, estimated revenue, $3.75. This is my estimated revenue for the last uh, 28 days. I can also alter this for lifetime and I can see how much I've earned throughout the history of my YouTube channel. I can see the watch time of uh, the whole YouTube channel since its inception. So this is my watch time in minutes, 136 thousand minutes I will go to last 28 days once again let's see the estimated revenue is 69.73 dollars for the whole um, lifetime now let's go to the last 28 days once again uh, let's go to real time real time shows you the estimated views for the last 48 hours this estimated views are 400 and for the last 60 minutes estimated views are 12 so this is the estimated view of each and every video you can see individually the estimated view of uh, video per video editor tutorial is 32 estimated views for the last 48 hours and for the last 60 minutes it's one so this is how we can also see the estimated views of an individual video this is the real time uh, for uh, youtube analytics now let's go to revenue the most important part of youtube analytics Make sure that you have uh, associated your Google AdSense with your YouTube channel so that you can actually see this revenue report, otherwise it's not going to be seen. This is my estimated revenue for the last uh, 28 days that I've earned $3.75 in the last 28 days. Yes, it's a very, very low amount if you compare it with my minutes, but there is no option. So these are the estimated revenue of every video that I've uh, actually shown to my audience. 0.72 dollars. That is 19 percentage of the revenue has been generated from this debut video capture software that I actually had created a long time ago for the last 28 days. Uh, I will be paid this amount, or actually I will be paid a hundred dollar amount. That is my threshold amount. Uh, once I reach my cutoff, that is $100. Let's go to ad rates. Ad rates is a lot different from revenue. It is actually ad rates is $6.82, as you can see, for the last 28 days. So, out of the this is the ad revenue that is being taken by YouTube from the advertiser who shows ads on my videos. So after taking 45% of this amount, we are left with 55% that YouTube pays us. So let's go to the calculator and calculate the data. $6.82 is the ad revenue now and I'm earning $3.75. I divide it by 6.82 and it should amount to somewhere around 55%. So YouTube pays me 55% of the amount that YouTube earns. Okay, this is my CPM cost per mill, $6.70. What it accounts to is 
for every thousand ad impressions being shown on my video I'm earning six point seventy dollars and that is a good rate that is a really good rate in countries such as India where CPM is really really low as you can see the United States from the United States I've earned the most 35 percentage uh, YouTube ad revenue has been earned from the United States and you can see the amount 2.37 dollars the CPM is 10.49 dollars now let's go to watch time reports watch time is the number of minutes that my viewers have actually watched this vi uh, these videos and say 5,349 minutes it accounts to 3 days and 17 hours of viewing in the last 28 days you can also see the individual watch time and the number of views that you have got on a particular video let's go to audience retention the audience retention is the uh, the average view duration that your audience have actually watched for one minute is the average duration that my videos have been watched and my average percentage viewed this is 40 percent so one minute accounts to 40 percent so the number of minutes that I will be getting uh, is uh, associated with this average percentage viewed this is 40 percentage this is the watch time of every video and 59 percentage uh, of my video has been watched that accounts to 45 seconds 47 percentage of this video has been watched which accounts to 1 minute and 6 seconds so you can see the individual video as well now let's go to demographics also plays an important part um, so this is the viewer age you can see which kind of audience is actually watching your videos 7.6 percentage audience is between the age group of 13 to 17 years so teenagers are watching my video the 7.6 percentage yes out of that male are 91 percentage and females are 8.5 percentage you can make videos according to the this analytics data now let's go to playback location it actually uh, gives you the account from where this video was actually watched let's say YouTube watch page this is where your video was watched from the views are 5323 obviously the most uh, number of uh, videos will be watched from the YouTube watch page obviously and uh, my videos were actually embedded in external websites and applications as well i don't know from where this uh, is showing up but yes someone uh, would have uh, embedded my video in his website or application now let's go to traffic sources a very very important measure from where you're actually getting your most views yes i'm actually getting my most views from youtube search my views are 2594 actually accounting to 49 percentage of the views that I'm getting and the watch time accounts to 2491 minutes that's where I've got my most number of views that is my YouTube search if you can go in the YouTube search you can also see the most number of views I've got from VPN master this is my this is the search term that people are searching for VPN master so you when someone searches for VPN master on YouTube page my uh, video will be popped up uh, same is the case with these searches as well let's go to devices so my videos are being watched from the computer for the most number of times 3189 views it comes to 3530 minutes of watch time uh, in minutes as you can see then comes mobile phones tablet TV and game console this is the devices that my videos are being viewed from the translations is a new part and let's skip that part mm. and the other thing is subscribers as you can see subscribers it is a very easy measure that you how many subscribers you have gained or lost during a given period in the last 28 days I have 
gained 12 subscriber, uh, subscribers, I've been gained 12, I've gained 22 subscribers and I've lost 10 subscribers, that a, that's a big amount. Uh, let's see the likes and dislikes um, in my particular video. And I've got 47 likes during this period and there are just 5 dislikes. Videos and players, comments, sharing, annotations. Let's go to annotations. Another important measure. So these are the annotation clicks that I've got. Uh, I hope you are know what annotation is. The annotation closes at 439. So uh, out of the annotations shown, 439 annotations were closed by the viewers. Uh, viewers may also get annoyed with annotations. Let's go to cards. Let's see what is the card rate. So card teaser clicks are 24 and card clicks are 2. So there were 24 cards shown out of which just 2 cards were clicked. As you can see, uh, the end screen is another new feature of this YouTube analytics. Uh, there were two, 1,233 end screen elements shown on my videos, out of which only 14 end screen elements were clicked. If that accounts to 1.14 percentage, you can see that how end clicks actually play an important part in this uh, videos as well, these videos as well. So this was all about analytics. Uh, another important thing is that you can search for a particular video from this. Uh, you can browse all your videos and let's say I want to view the particular analytics of a video named uh, VPN Master so I'll go to VPN Master as you can see VPN Master 2017 and I can see the analytics for the last 28 days that is the default view last 28 days I've got 449 minutes of watch time 390 views and my estimated revenue is very very low to just $12 and the estimated view duration is one minute and seven seconds. This is just for the last 28 days. Uh, let's see for the lifetime. Watch time is uh, 1047 minutes. Average view duration has not changed much. One minute and seven seconds for the whole lifetime. And my estimated revenue is 0.4 dollars. Hey guys, if you like this video, please uh, don't forget to press the like button and please subscribe to our channel and do let me know about if you have any queries or discrepancies regarding this video, please do let me know using the comments section below and thank you guys for watching this video. This is Mohit signing off. Peace.